So, Percy, did you like the story I read to you about the three little pigs? Yes, Thomas. That was a good story. I liked the part where the big bad wolf fell into the chimney and got and landed the, the cookie pod. Yeah, it's to teach him a lesson. <laughs> yes, James. So, um, I was thinking, should we do a play of the three little pigs? I can be the, the pig with straws, and I could be the pig with sticks, and I could be the pig with bricks. But well, we have to see Victor if he can modify us and turn us into pigs. Good idea, Percy. So, Thomas, James and Percy are going to do a play of the three little pigs. And they didn't even mention who's going to be the big bad wolf. I know how to fix that. Okay, you two, listen up. We've got some unfinished business to do. Unfinished business? What do you want us to do, Diesel? Thomas, James and Percy are going to do a play on the three little pigs. I'm going to be the big bad wolf. Oh, we can fix that. Yes, we can dress you up like one. We just need to paint you over and then you'll be good to go. Excellent. Now to foil my plan to these engines. They'll think I'm the be the big bad wolf and they won't know that it's me. Huh. Well, Diesel, good luck. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Wait, you have to modify me, you two. Okay, you three. How do you all look? I look great, Victor. Thank you for modifying us. Oh, it was nothing. I say, you look funny as the three pigs. Yep, we sure do, Kevin. I'm the pig with straw, I'm the pig with sticks, and I'm the pig with bricks. All right, you three, go along and get yourself prepared for the play. You bet, Victor. Come on, guys. Okay. Well, I'll find you, Percy. How do you think the play will turn out, boss? I don't know yet, Kevin. But, wait, who's going to be the big bad wolf? I think Diesel's going to be the big bad wolf. Oh, that makes sense, because Diesel doesn't like steamies. Yep, that's true. I can't wait for the play to start. Me too, Lilo. Hey, Starfish Thomas, why isn't the fucking trawler here? I think he's busy attending a meeting somewhere. Oh, I see. When does the play start? Swish Spongebob, you can't talk while it's playing. Oh, alright you two, we be quiet. Edward's coming here now. Hello everyone, I hope you're all feeling comfortable today. We sure are Edward, so what are we going to watch today? Today, Thomas, James and Percy are putting on a play of the Three Little Pigs. Enjoy! Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm going to be the storyteller. I will read the story while the play is happening. Oh yeah, it's important for a narrator to read. Isn't that right? Yes, it is right, Steelworks James. Aren't you meant to be at work? I thought I'd take a day off. There isn't much going on around at the Steelworks. Oh, right. Hooray! The play is starting! Shush, Spongebob! It's just... You have to be quiet. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Hello. How are you doing? Hi there. They both lived in the countryside, doing their own business. And they are good at building things. The first pig can build houses of straw. The second pig can build houses with sticks, and the third pig can build houses with bricks. But then one day, the big bad wolf turned up. <laughs> oh no, it's the big bad wolf! Let's get out of here! We must hide! <laughs> I'm 
gonna get your piggies. <laughs> And then, the big bad wolf went after the pigs. Daisy does a very good job playing the big bad wolf. Yes, Paxton. It's a good thing we got him dressed up. Oh, I hope the big bad wolf wins. Oh, don't you know? Don't you know what happened in the story? The wolf went searching for the pigs and was wondering where they were until he saw a house with straw. Let me in! Let me in! Not the hair of my chinny chin chin! I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! And with all of this puff and all of this huff, the big bad wolf blew the house of straw away! Ah! Oh. <laughs> you can't stop me, big bad wolf! Oh yes I can! Oh, my lord, that wolf, he really is hungry. Okay, Patrick, just be quiet and watch the story. All right, oh, there's no need to hustle. Ha! <laughs> Are you all right? The big bad wolf is after me. Hide behind me, I'll defend him. Okay. So the first pig was hiding with the second pig in the house of sticks. Then the big bad wolf turned up. Uh, let me in, let me in! Not the hair of our chin chin chin! chin. I'll puff and I'll huff and I'll blow your house in! And with all of his puff, the big bad wolf blew the house of sticks over! Are you all right? Uh, no! My house of sticks got blown! <laughs> we must get to the fur pig's house! He's a lot stronger than sticks and straw! Right behind you! <laughs> no, no you don't! And so the wolf went after the other two pigs. Oh, I don't really like this! Calm down, Millie. It's only a story. It's only a play. I hope it isn't too bad, Stephen. Oh, don't worry, Millie. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> it looks like you two have seen the big bad wolf. Yes, we have. Can we hide in your house, please? Of course. It's a lot stronger than sticks and straw. Thank you. Just then, the big bad wolf arrived at the house of bricks. Then he said, let me in, let me in. Not the hair by the hair of our chimney chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And with all of his puff, the big bad wolf tried to blow the house of bricks over. But it was no good. The bricks were so strong that the wolf tried to blow. The wolf was losing breath. Ah. Then he had an idea. I know how to get in the house. So, what happens next? I think he's going to use the ladder and climb the house and the chimney. Oh, just like in the actual story. Yep, we have to keep watching though. Then the wolf had another plan. I'm going to climb up the chimney and drop down it to scare the pigs away. <laughs> but as he tried to do that, there was trouble. Down I go! Oh! 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 Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, what just happened? Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> My wolf costume! Uh, our pig costumes! Diesel, why did you do that for? Uh-oh. I guess that's the end of the play, folks. Now I have to see what the problem is.
Uh, you ruined the play, Diesel. No, I didn't. In the story, the wolf goes up the, the browser of bricks and drops down the chimney and then he lands in the pot. But why would you have to land on us? I'll soon settle this. Diesel, what do you think you should have done? Um, I should have just... Uh, I should have just left the house of bricks and not come back. And as for you three, what do you think you should have done? Well, James and Percy should have moved over so Diesel can drop in and pretend to be burnt. Well, that's what did happen in the story, though. And okay. Well, everyone, false alarm. Diesel's owned up for his mistake. Well, about time that happened. Yes! Why would he do that? I'm so sorry, everyone. I just wanted the play to be good. Well, you've turned this play into a wreck, matey. Alright. I'm sorry, everyone, for ruining the play. Ah, huh, just a disgrace. Huh, we agree. Let's go back. You did well today, Diesel. Did I? Yeah, I guess you can stay with us for a bit. Thanks, you guys. Oh, I'm always happy to have you, Diesel. So what are you going to do with us, Edward? Nothing. You guys can just go back to do whatever you want. I can't be bothered doing another play for a while. Well, we did have fun doing the Three Little Pigs play. Yes, Percy, I think it's a bit too much for Diesel. Yeah, let's just forget all about it. I guess so, James. But who knows what play we'll do next in the future. Maybe Emily might do another dress party for us and we could dress up like the pigs again. But you just have to wait and see.